the, the person who looks after our animal center actually as well. I'm sure he'll talk about that. Matt, are you with us? I am indeed. Yes, thank you very much, Matt. Fantastic. So welcome everybody. Um, firstly, I'd like to say it's, it's great. I'm very grateful to have this opportunity to talk to you all today for those that have a, a real passion for the natural world. And I'd really like to try to sell and promote the animal sciences department and the courses that we can offer you. Um, next slide, please. Thank you very much. So we actually now, um, we haven't done for a number of years, but now we actually offer courses all the way from uh, level one up to level three. Um, we offer the level one diploma in land-based studies, which is totally animal care still, despite its name. We offer the level two diploma in animal care, and then we've got two versions of a level three course, the level three diploma and the level three extended diploma. And I'll talk a little bit more in a minute about why we deviate at that level. So starting with the level one diploma in animal care, this course is 60% practical. OK, so much of the time you'll be in, involved in doing practical work um, inside our own animal centre at college. Um, all of the assessment at this level is based on doing assignment work. And much of that, again, will be based on you doing hands on practical activities in the animal centre and will be grading you based on how well you perform. Now, at the level one level, the sorts of subjects that you'll study will be things like animal feeding, animal husbandry, enclosure design, and you'll get to do some animal handling as well. Uh, and you'll have to get used to the idea of maybe grabbing a few animals that you might have a few fears of, uh, things like cockroaches, uh, even a scorpion as well. You have to get used to the idea of handling a great menagerie of different animal species. Now at level two, I better add quickly that level one course, just like the level two course, are both uh, one year programmes. Now the level two course is a little bit less practical work because at level two it intensifies a bit. Um, so there's about 40 to 50 percent practical work involved in the level two one year course. Um, again, all the assessments uh, done on the level two course are assignment based and um, some of the topics that you'll get to do on the level two course will include things like exotic animal studies, which specialises down kind of the exotic animals that you might see in the in the exotic animal pet trade from chameleons and uh, iguanas to uh, chinchillas and you name it. And we've got all of these animals in our animal centre at college. Um, so in addition to that, you could study. Sorry, Matt, one slide back. In addition to that, um, you'll also be studying units like conservation, animal biology and animal restraint as well. The level three courses now, and I'll explain why we deviate. And there are two pathways. Over the years, we've realised that there's students that have got clear intent about what they want to do um, on, on their course, and they've also got plans for what they'd like to do after the course. Uh, other students uh, are not so sure, and we love those students to spend this two years and learning as much as they can, taking in all the information, and then thinking about really where all the various areas are that uh, the kind of animal industry can take you, because there are many, many, many different branches and many different careers. Now, the level three diploma, we've made a slightly shorter course and it's worth two A-levels, um, the equivalent of two A-levels. And this slight, slightly uh, smaller course, it's got less units, um, is more designed for those students that want to go straight into the world of work after they've completed the programme, as opposed to going into higher education and university. The level three extended diploma is certainly much more geared up towards those students that wish to go straight into university next and they've got those big ambitions uh, for a degree in an animal science. Now the level three courses um, have units uh, such as genetics, animal behaviour, ecology, uh, animal biology and physiology and so largely more theoretical uh, but you still do get a lot of time in the animal centre and involved in that animal practical work as well. The only other thing that I should add really with the, the level three courses is they're both two year programmes and there are a, a small number of units, three units in, in fact, out of the, the 10 or 15 units that the level three courses um, contain uh, that you will be doing exams. OK, so most of it's assignment based, but just three out of either the, the 10 or 15 units that you might take would be exam based units. All right. Now, I'll just very briefly before I move on, mention the veterinary nursing apprenticeship. It's very, very different, but we do offer it within the animal sciences department. Um, all of the other courses are BTECs, 
but in this particular case the the animal nursing vet nursing apprenticeship is not something you would typically apply for via the normal applications uh, procedures at our college. Um, students that come to us on the veterinary nursing apprenticeship have actually already secured themselves a job role as an apprentice veterinary nurse at a vet practice. And then if you've managed to get yourself one of those opportunities, uh, those students come to us for one day a week uh, to do their learning in college and the other four days of the week, they'll actually be based in their practice working as a veterinary nurse. Next slide, please, Matt. Thank you. Right. So this is just an example of, uh, of some of the many species of animals that we've got in our own animal care centre at college. Um, we have to have a real diverse collection of animals so that you have experiences across the whole animal kingdom. And so we represent as best we can all of the different classes uh, within the animal kingdom. Uh, you name it, anything from frogs to uh, praying mantises, uh, possums, ground squirrels, armadillos, um, even a very, very small primate, the, uh, the pygmy marmoset. So we do have a real diverse range of animals in our collection at the college. Next slide, please. Our facilities, I better mention them very briefly just because uh, this is one of the areas you'll be most interested in, I'm sure, and it's certainly something worth talking about. In the last 18 months, we've actually invested quite a lot of money at the college and we have totally rebuilt our animal uh, centre facilities. And so you can enjoy um, some very, very uh, new facilities um, containing all of the animals that I've just been discussing with you. Next slide, please. Now, uh, as part of all of the courses, doesn't matter if you're studying with us at level one or level three, there is quite a lot of curriculum enrichment uh, to help you understand greater the world of uh, opportunity available for you when you think about your career in, in the animal world. Uh, what we do uh, like to do is take you on at least three educational uh, visits every single year. Um, so that will be to zoos and animal parks and various animal businesses. You'll be involved in at least one week work experience every single year of your study and we'll send you out to various animal related and environmentally related uh, work placements. We'll get guest speakers come in and they'll be coming from a wide variety of different animal careers to give you a greater insight into the various animal careers that there are out there. And finally, you will have that access every single week to our animals care centre and the various animals we house. Um, one last thing to mention here is if you're on the level two, you will get to do a, a brilliant uh, conservation based field trip. And if you're on the level three course by year two, we actually get to take you out on a, a week long residential trip where we stay in a field study centre. Uh, but we're actually spending most of our time kneeling on the ground in the woods uh, where we're carrying out all sorts of ecological survey work. Uh, this particular week is brilliant because not only do you get to uh, really prepare yourself if you're potentially going on to the university environment and going to do a degree in something like biology or, or zoology, um, because all the skills you learn on this ecology trip will basically be very similar to what you would then go on do in your first year of study at university. It's also a great opportunity to kind of work on your team building skills as well. Next slide, please. This is an example of the sorts of things we get up to on the uh, residential trips. So animal trapping, all obviously in the best way possible for the animals. We are just interested in understanding what the diversity and the abundance of these species is in the woodlands that we go out and conduct our studies in. So we'll be trapping animals and then releasing them very, very quickly in a safe way. Um, in addition to that, you'll be setting all sorts of other uh, kind of studies up where you'll be examining the environment more to understand why the animals that we find distributed there are, are so happy where they're living. Um, next slide, please. Now, by this stage, you're probably all thinking, well, how on earth do I get on these animal courses? I'm absolutely gagging to, uh, to apply right away. Now, if you want to apply uh, for the level one animal care course, you will need to have a minimum GCSE grade, grade requirement such as displayed here. You'll need at least three GCSEs at grade two or above or a relevant entry level three qualification. For the level two BTEC in animal care, you'll need at least three GCSEs at grade three or above, and they must include English language, maths and science. And then finally, for the BTEC uh, 
Level three diplomas, you will need at least four GCSEs at grade four or above. And again, they must include English uh, language, maths and science, or indeed you can you can move on to the level three with an equivalent level two qualification um, if you've gained at least a merit grade. Next slide, please. Thank you very much indeed. Matt, thanks so much for that. Um, uh, so many animals, uh, fantastic, and so many options. Uh, I have to be honest, it, 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 is, it is overwhelming almost. Um, I do have one question. We're slightly over time, but um, there is a question that I hope you can answer because I certainly, Matt, cannot. Um, it is at level three. Are you covering all the topics needed to get into veterinary medicine at RVC? Brilliant question. Um, yes, we are. So this year we've actually had five learners uh, across our year two uh, courses who have applied for the veterinary nurse, uh, the veterinary medicine programmes. Um, they have not yet found out if they've got any any offers, but in previous years we have had students that have had success getting into uh, veterinary medicine on our programme. So absolutely that that is an option available to you on this course, yes.